Hi there, I'm Evan with the Scioto County Daily News, and today I'm here with... Brittany Zetting. And I'm here to talk to you. Your mom is making surgical masks, correct? Sewing them? Yes. So, how many has she made so far? Um, she has made over a thousand. Wow. And uh, has she been charging for them, or has she been donating them? She has been donating everyone. Okay. So, when did she first start making them? Um, about a week and a half ago. So she's made over a thousand in a week and a half? Yes. Okay. Um, what, what gave her the idea in the first place to do it? Um, me and my cousin both have sent her a link of the CDC guidelines of masks and, um, it kind of was a joke at first, and I said, Mom, you should just make some of these. And um, the next morning, she had over 70 made. Like, it, I had given her that at 9 o'clock at night, and by 8 o'clock in the morning, she had 70 made. And so she calls me, and she's like, I have these made for you. And my daughter's Miss Ohio, USA National Miss Ohio. And so she was like, Lily can give them out. Um. But I never, you know, said anything about that. And so I just posted on Facebook and asked if there was anybody who needed them in the area. Um, they were free. They can have them. And instantly I had over like 400 messages of people just needing them and asking for them. And so she just, she said she felt like, you know, she was trying to help save lives, you know, in a little way. And um, she just kept making them. So how have you been distributing them to people since she's been making them? Um, I go and pick up, well, she started out with um, material that she has saved up. She had a lot, and she didn't have elastic, or she thought she didn't have elastic. And so she sent me on a run to go get elastic. She don't come out of the house. Um, so I've been doing all of the running outside, and... I went to Ashland to get elastic. I couldn't find hardly any, enough to make me maybe a hundred masks. And on my way home, she calls me and she's like, Brittany, you're gonna kill me. And I said, what? She goes, I have this box of stuff that this lady gave me about nine months ago. And I decided to go through it. And there was a spool of elastic 280 yards, which would make about 900 masks. And so she said that she felt like the lady in the Bible where God just kept supplying the needs to make bread. And since God was supplying the needs to make the mask, she just wanted to continue making them until she runs out of supplies. Wow, that is incredible. So, like, when somebody orders a mask uh, and you make she makes them, how do you get them to the people? Do you mail them or deliver them? Um, no, I deliver them. I, most of the time I'll get their address and I will just pull up and put it in the mailbox and text them and say, hey, it's in your mailbox. Um, there's been a few times that they've met me in Lucasville and I've just kind of, they've rolled down the window and I've thrown it into their car and, you know, said, hey, thanks. Um, but most of the time I do the delivering. I've delivered to Portsmouth Ambulance, um, Millersburg Urgent Care, uh, Portsmouth Urgent Care. Memphis Fire Department, Memphis EMT, and I can't even think. Hickey's, Sonora's, Save a Lot in Lucasville, Gaines Pharmacy. Um, I've delivered to all of them. So. So I saw uh, at one point on your Facebook page that she was running out of supplies, and yes. Um, so I posted that she had, she was starting to run out of supplies and instantly I had like 10 people ask me for my PayPal and give money. And I went to Joanne Fabrics in Walmart and was able to pick up another like 30 yards total, which would make about 300 more and batting, which is what she uses on the inside for, um, to help as a filter. Mm -hmm. So with that shopping, was it hard to find the right materials right now or was it easier with less people? Um, material is easy to find. I was able to go to, well, I went to John Fabrics first and got some, and then I went to Hobby Lobby, actually. 
um, and was able to get some. And it was easier at Hobby Lobby than Joan Fabrics. Um, elastics, you don't, I haven't even tried to look for elastic, but I know that there isn't any. But I know some people are using headbands. And so that's an option. Like if you're making your own, that would be an option that you could use. Or hair ties mm -hmm. is an option. Um, but I haven't been looking for that because she had so much of it. And then the batting, it's just been there. I just buy big spools of it, so. So, I mean, with the demand right now, I mean, I it doesn't seem like there's going to be any need to stop. So, I mean, is she just going to continue, as long as this is going on, making masks for people? She is going to try to continue as much as she can. She slowed down a little bit just because she was literally working from 6 a.m. till 10 p.m. at night making masks. And my dad would be like, okay, you need to stop and eat. Um, but she is going to continue to make them, and she's going to continue to give them out as, you know, she can until she runs out of elastic would be the item that she would run out of right now. So, um, so could you just give the name of your mom, please, just so we all have that? Her name is Denise Stevens. Okay. Well, I think that's all the questions I have. It has been great talking to you. And what you guys are doing is incredible. We just want to try to help out as much as we can, especially for the people who are out there, you know, risking their lives to save others. So yeah. if it's a little bit of help, then we, we like to do it. So Everybody has to do their part, and you guys certainly are doing yours. Thanks. Right. Thank you so much for talking with us. All right. Thank you. You have a good day. You too.